Alfred Molina is an English-American actor, known for his roles in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Maverick, Spider-Man 2 Chocolate, The Da Vinci Code, An Education, Rango, and Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. He starred as DDA, Detective Ricardo Morales on the NBC Police, courtroom drama Law and Order, LA and as Roger opposite Dawn French in the BBC television sitcom Roger and Val have just got in. Early life, Molina was born in Paddington, London. His mother, Giovanna, was an Italian housekeeper who cleaned rooms in a hotel and worked as a cook. His father, Esteban Molina, was a Spanish immigrant from Madrid who worked as a waiter and chauffeur. Molina grew up in a working-class district in Notting Hill that was inhabited by many other immigrant families. Molina decided to become an actor after seeing Spartacus at the age of nine and attended the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. He also auditioned and was accepted as a member of National Youth Theatre. Career Molina appeared with Leonard Rossiter in the sitcom The Losers. Molina made his film debut with a minor role in Raiders of the Lost Ark as Indiana Jones' ill-fated guide, Satipo, during its iconic opening sequence. However, his big break came with Letter to Brezhnev, which he followed with a starring role in Prick Up Your Ears, playing Joe Orton's lover Kenneth Halliwell. He was originally cast as Arnold Rimmer in the TV sitcom Red Dwarf, but he was replaced by Chris Barry. In the early 1990s, Molina was a ubiquitous presence on British television, with his highest profile role being the lead in the first two series of LCID. Subsequent film roles included Species, Dudley Do Right, Chocolate, Not Without My Daughter and Enchanted April. With a Midwestern American accent, Molina starred alongside Betty White in the U.S. television series Ladies Man, which ran from 1999 to 2001. He has worked twice with Paul Thomas Anderson, first in Boogie Nights and then Magnolia. Molina gained wide recognition for his portrayal of Diego Rivera alongside Salma Hayek in the biopic Frida, a role for which he gained BAFTA and SAG Award nominations. He played himself alongside Steve Coogan in Coffee and Cigarettes and gained further commercial recognition when he portrayed the villain Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, which became one of the highest-grossing films of that year. For the later, Molina was nominated for a Satellite Award as Best Supporting Actor. He reprised his role in the video game adaption. In 2006, Molina portrayed Touchstone in Kenneth Branagh's film version of Shakespeare's As You Like It and appeared in Ron Howard's adaptation of The Da Vinci Code. Molina provided the voice of the villain Ares in the 2009 animated film Wonder Woman. Molina's stage work has included two major Royal National Theatre productions, Tennessee Williams' The Night of the Iguana and David Mamet's Speed the Plow. In his Broadway debut, Molina performed in Yasmina Rez's Tony Award-winning play, Art, for which he received a Tony nomination in 1998. In 2004, Molina returned to the stage, starring as Tevi in the Broadway production of Fiddler on the Roof. For his performance he once again received a Tony Award nomination, this time for Best Actor in a Musical. Molina received his third Tony Award nomination for Red in 2010, for Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Play. In 2007, Molina narrated a 17-part original audiobook for Audible.com called The Chopin Manuscript. This serialized novel was written by a team of 15 best-selling thriller writers, including Jeffrey Diva, Lee Child, Joseph Finder and Lisa Scottiline. The novel won the 2008 Audiobook of the Year Award for Mordio Publishers Association. On 1 April 2010, he opened at Broadway's John Golden Theatre in the role of artist Mark Rothko in John Logan's drama Red Opposite Eddie Redmayne for a limited engagement through 27 June.
He had played the role to much critical success at the Donmar Warehouse in London in December 2009. In 2010 he starred opposite Dawn French in the six-part BBC sitcom Roger and Val Have Just Got In, with the second series in 2012. He is one of only two actors to have three Lego minifigures modelled after him, with them being Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man 2, Satipo from Raiders of the Lost Ark and Sheikh Amar from Prince of Persia. In July 2010, it was announced that Molina had joined the cast of Law and Order, LA as Deputy District Attorney Morales. He previously guest starred in a two-part crossover in 2005 in two other Law and Order franchise shows, Law and Order, Special Victims Unit and Law and Order, Trial by Jury. Molina is a patron of the performing arts group Theatre Train. Molina is also a longtime member of the Los Angeles Theatre Company The New American Theatre, formerly known as Circus Theatricals, where he often teaches Shakespeare and scene study along with the company's artistic director Jack Stellan. Molina stated in an interview in 2013 that he owes his stage and film career to the Indiana Jones series. I'm very, very proud of that. I have to admit I didn't think at the time, oh, this is going to go down in movie history. I'd never been in front of a camera before, Molina said about his short but memorable appearance in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Molina recalls getting the job as if gift from God and goes on to say, I've publicly thanked Stephen many, many times. That job saved my bacon. In more ways than one, about his now famous line in the film Molina stated that, I've never had a problem with people coming up to me about it. They all shout that line to me, throw me the idol, I'll throw you the whip. I'm delighted that people still remember it. Personal life. Molina resides in Los Angeles, California, and announced in 2004 that he had become a U.S. Citizen. He is fluent in English, Italian and Spanish. He married actress Jill Gascoigne in 1986 in Tower Hamlets, London. He has a daughter, London-based photographer Rachel Molina, from a previous relationship, and two step-sons, from Gascoigne's first marriage. He is also a grandfather to Alfie and Layla. In addition to acting, Molina is an acquired immune deficiency syndrome advocate. Not only does he donate towards AIDS research, but also participates in the Los Angeles AIDS Walk and appeared as himself in a documentary produced by Joseph Kibler about Kibler's life entitled, Walk On, first screened in 2013. Filmography Film Television Video Game Awards and Nominations 